Hi, it's Marty Park. I want to talk to you about your time. I want to talk about your time as being the biggest barrier to you as an entrepreneur or business owner, being able to grow your company and improve the performance of your business. It is time that becomes our biggest barrier. Now, when we start up a business, often money is the biggest issue. We have lots of time and no money. But as we reach sustainability and want to take our business to the next level, it is always time and time mastery that becomes your biggest issue. I say to people, to clients and everybody that will listen, people are out to steal your time. I don't mean in a nasty way, but people are out to just take five or ten minutes. Your employees, your customers, your suppliers, everybody needs just a little bit of time. And with their agendas and their priorities being slightly different than yours, it means that for so many business owners, it is Friday at three o'clock before they even have a chance to look up and think, what do I need to accomplish this week in order to better my business? So here's what we like to look at, or here's some ideas on how I'd approach that from a real tactical, tangible way. First off, in terms of time mastery, you have to have rules. Once you have rules set around how your time gets scheduled and used, other people tend to follow the rules and respect them. So set rules. The next thing is being able to learn to condense your time. If you can take a 40 or 50 hour work week and be able to take your one hour meetings, create 40 minute meetings or half an hour meetings, take something that used to take 30 minutes and make it eight minutes as a challenge to you. Limit your email time for an hour in the morning, an hour in the afternoon. Set things to an egg timer so it creates some time urgency. If you're able to do some of those tactics, you take a 40 hour work week and condense it to 30 hours and you've just created 10 hours of growth time, sales time, thinking time, and strategy time. And that's where business owners that excel in any economy really, really make a difference, is in those 10 hours or the time they allocate for those things. The last couple things is that every role that you have as a business owner or entrepreneur has to be in your calendar. You have to have time for business development. You have to have time for strategic alliance. You have to have time as the president. You have to have time as the manager maybe a little bit of time as the technician. All of the things that you spend time as your critical roles need it. The last thing is I always allocate, and you've probably seen in one of my other videos that I talk about a great start the week for an entrepreneur. The other piece that I think is critical is thinking time or growing time for a business owner where you can be able to say, okay, I've got time to just think about what I need to do proactively, strategically to make this business better. If you're able to find that time every week, no matter the economy, you're going to prosper. The last thing is, you know, funny enough, be really practical. If you need to install a lock on your door, install a lock. If you need to be able to get other people and leave the office and go to a third place like your favorite coffee shop to get quiet time, do it. If you need a great pair of Bose headphones, buy them. But recognize that time is something other people are trying to steal and it is the number one thing that as you learn to master it, it is going to make you a better business owner and your business is going to prosper. Anyway, I hope that helps around time. Visit us at evolvebusinessgroup.com and have a great day.